All right, let's get right into it. Imagine this, you take one single photo, pair it with a voice track, and then just watch it come to life as a totally realistic on-screen presenter. Today, we're gonna unpack a brand new open source AI that does exactly that. It turns the most minimal assets you can imagine into a really compelling video performance. And this isn't some far-off sci-fi concept. The source material puts it perfectly. You can literally press play on a photo and watch it learn to breathe, to blink, to listen, and then to speak your words with this almost film-like confidence. I mean, this is a fundamental shift in how we can think about creating video content. So here's the game plan for this explainer. We're gonna start with the core promise, then look at how the AI actually performs We'll get into why it being open source is such a big deal, walk through a workflow you could use today, and then we'll look ahead to where this is all going. Okay, first up, the big idea. This is all about what's called speech to video technology, or S2V for short, and its core promise to create a 720p presenter from just two super simple things. I mean, just look at how simple this equation is. One selfie plus one voice track gets you a convincing on-screen performance. Think about that for a second. No camera, no complicated lighting rig, no frustrating reshoots. The entire production process is basically boiled down to this one incredibly powerful formula. And the benefits? Well, they're pretty much immediate. You can try it for free or run it for super cheap in the cloud. The lip sync is driven directly by your audio, so it feels physical and connected, not fake. You can even guide the gestures if you want a more natural feel, and it spits out a web-ready video in one single pass. So, the big question is, how does the AI actually pull this off? You know, how does it create something that feels, well, real? Because this isn't just another deep fake puppet. This is a genuine leap forward in AI-driven performance. And this slide just nails the difference. You know, old AI video kind of felt like a puppet show, right? It was just pasting motion onto a face. The lips would wobble out of sync, and it all felt like a clever trick, but kind of hollow. These new models are different. They use something called temporal understanding. Basically, they get the flow of time, so the motion starts to read like actual intention. It stops being a puppet and starts becoming a performance. So here's the crucial part of how speech-to-video, or S2V, works. In this kind of model, your voice track isn't just audio. Think of it more like a detailed map. The rhythm of your words, the little pauses, the sounds, all of it guides the AI in shaping the mouth, moving the cheeks, and even creating those tiny little micro-expressions that make us look human. The technology really makes three key promises. First is alignment, making sure the performance physically syncs up with the rhythm of your voice. Second is identity. It works really hard to preserve the unique look of the person in the photo. We're talking bone structure, lighting, skin texture, the whole deal. And third, believability. It adds all those little subtle movements we do without even thinking. You know, the blinks, the nods, the slight head tilts. That's what sells the final result as being natural. Okay, but the tech itself is only half the story. The fact that this is open source is a massive deal. And why is that? Because having access to the tool matters just as much as what the tool can actually do. Let's just put them side by side. Paid tools are great, they're polished, they're easy, but you're paying a monthly fee and you're giving up control. With an open source model like this one, the cost is basically nothing, just a little computing power. You get full local control, total privacy, and the freedom to customize it and plug it into any workflow you can possibly dream up. And this is the real magic of an open ecosystem. One person figures out a better way to keep the facial details sharp. Someone else refines the timing of a natural sounding breath. They share it and boom, the entire community benefits instantly. These little improvements spread and build on each other incredibly fast. So let's make this real. How could you actually use this? We're talking about a workflow that can take you from just a script to a finished video performance in like a single afternoon. Seriously, you could publish your first video tonight in just three steps. One, record a clean voiceover. Two, pick a good, clear headshot, preferably with some soft lighting. Three, feed both of those into the S2V model and export your video. It really is that straightforward. And just think about the possibilities here. An educator could create lessons in 10 different languages using the same visual. A musician could make their album cover literally sing their song. A podcaster could finally put a face to the voice. Brands could create these perfectly consistent spokespeople for endless campaigns. It is an incredibly versatile tool. But the biggest efficiency gain, the real game changer, comes down to one single number, 
one. That is how many takes you will ever need. Your AI host is perfect every single time. It maintains eye contact, it follows your vocal cadence flawlessly, and it's ready to go 24-7. This frees up all your creative energy for what actually matters, the story, not the logistics. Now let's look to the future a little bit. This technology is really just the foundation. What gets built on top of it is where things get really, really exciting. We are moving towards a future where you won't just run a tool, you'll collaborate with an AI director agent. You'll just describe what you want, the script, the tone, the pacing, and the AI will assemble the entire video for you. Your role totally shifts from being a technician to being a showrunner. The next logical step, of course, is dialogue. Imagine creating a small scene or an interview or even a debate just by using one photo for each speaker and a timed script. The AI could handle all the expressions, the back and forth, maybe even the camera angles. And naturally, the quality is just gonna keep getting better. We're gonna see these intelligent pipelines that can upscale the video to much higher resolutions while being smart enough to preserve the person's identity so you avoid that plastic, artificial look. Of course, with all this power, we have to talk about using it responsibly. The risk of someone being impersonated without their consent is very real. The counterweight to that risk is a strong social contract. We need clear rules about use, we need to honor people's likeness rights, and we absolutely have to label synthetic media so that viewers know what they're seeing. This isn't a barrier, it's what's gonna keep this technology open and trustworthy for everyone. So this all brings us to the final, and I think most important question. When a convincing performance is no longer this huge logistical nightmare, but it's just a file you can generate, the main limitation becomes your own creativity. The distance from your script to the screen becomes a choice, not a challenge. So the real question is, what ideas are you gonna unleash?